Hey guys, it's Snake DST, and you guys are awesome. Welcome back to another build video. Someone, uh, about, I'd say a week ago, uh, challenged me, in a sense, to make a Hunter's Faith oriented build. And I was conflicted because Hunter's Faith never actually was decent, it was actually pretty crap. Um, someone, some people gave me some ideas, you know, use it as a support build, use it as this and that, and just get an MG5 or something like that and shoot from a distance, you know. And I thought about that, and I'm like, you know, but that's not how I play, usually. And I want to be able to make a build that can be oriented for group, solo, and for, uh, I guess, if you really want to take this build into the, uh, the, N the PvE side, feel free to do so. But this is my Hunter's Faith build, and I gotta say, guys, uh, before I show the build and tell you about the footage, um, I did my best to get, uh, solo footage, um, but the lag is very terrible right now, um, I'm not the only one who agrees with me on that, there is plenty of other YouTubers that also agree that the lag is quite bad, so heals don't proc, you know, etc., bullet damage numbers, it's just... It's been seen on on streams and other videos. Anyway, moving on from that, I still managed to get some decent kills. I managed to do some uh, do some decent work actually. Um, and uh, yeah, so here's my build. Boom. Three hunters faith, one tack, ninja bike, and a vigorous chest piece. Um, I'm gonna say this right now. I actually do like this build quite a bit. Um, the main weapon I use on this build is the MP5 right there, as you can see, the MP5 has a depth, okay, that's not the Navy, has a depth, deadly, and competent, so it's pretty good, because, you know, the adept using a skill increases your critical hit chance by 7.50%, this, the critical hit chance on this is already max, 22.50, so that's another 7.50, plus crit hit damage is increased by 50% with deadly, and then just full-on weapon damage is increased by 10% for 15 seconds, really good, um, Navy MP5. Uh, my secondary, I don't really use this, the Lavo, I'm really just, I use the MP5, but this is it, just responsive, deadly, competent. If I wanted to, I, I got a lightweight M4 earlier, it had brutal and responsive on it as well, but obviously I'm trying to get something a bit more, uh, better. Might be like, uh, responsive, deadly, competent, but on a lightweight, because lightweight, I feel, in my opinion, is better controlled. Uh, and then obviously just the normal pistol. So we're gonna go over the weapons first because they're a lot easier. Here's my uh, my weapon attachments, as you can see: set and mag, uh, pro red dot sight, critical damage, crit chance, headshot damage, loud vent break, which crit damage, crit chance, headshot damage, and increased strep. And then the small group red, crit damage, reload speed, and stability. Um, and then the Lavoa is just you know the mag size, damage, crit, headshot, you know, uh, mega rifle suppressor, and grip as well. Uh, the Vigorous Chest Piece has 1253 Electronics, 982 Armor, pretty good armor roll, already had a health on it, and 9% Skill Haste. Skill Haste, guys, I've come to find out, I mean, I already knew it, but it's just like, a lot of people were like, do Skill Haste, you need more Skill Haste, and I'm like, fine, let me do a build with some Skill Haste on it, right? We'll get to that later. But Skill Haste is actually quite important, uh, especially in a solo setting, so I'm not saying... This build's perfect for solo, but it does do pretty well solo, I'm gonna be honest. Especially in 1v1 situations, this build's pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying that right now, I did some 1v1, I had some 1v1 situations, I had some 1v2 situations, unfortunately. Because as you can see, my toughness and stamina right there is not that high, I did get pretty... Everyone's running firearms these days, so you get melted pretty quickly. But if you can just get your stuff back pretty quick, uh, which you'll see, you'll see my skill haste total uh, a little in a later, uh, later scene. Later, uh, you'll see that I get it back pretty decently. <sighs> so there's my vigorous chest piece. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the mods on it are stamina, so I can unlock uh, my res my uh, my responsive on my Lavoa if I needed it. You know, just just so I have it unlocked a little bit extra stamina, but it also has skill haste on it. And then I have firearms. Looks like basically max max firearms roll 267 with more 3% skill haste. We're over to the ninja bike. Oh, and for those who don't know what vigorous is, grants overheal to all healing skill, so if I want to use a booster, I'll get a heal, if I want to use defib, I'll get an overheal, if I want to pop a box, well, the, you know, the box already gives you one. You guys know what I mean. And anyone else who puts down a heal on your team will also give you an overheal if it's not, you know, the, uh, not the, 
the overdose uh, first aid. Ninja Bike, the best thing that's ever happened to the division so far. Just kidding, but it's really good. I'm so happy they did this. Um, 1530 firearms because I have a firearms mod on it, as you can see right there, with plus three skill haste, and I have two 6% first aid self heals on there. Uh, the Ninja Bike, for those who don't know and don't have one, and if you're new, slots in any equipped gear set item to fulfill a requirement towards unlocking a gear set bonus can unlock bonuses from multiple sets simultaneously at the same time, but does not work on classified. Um, so for those who don't know, uh, that's basically... What? Anyway, um, basically, that's why I, this build's good, because this three-piece Hunter's Faith is actually four piece hunter's face this one tactician's piece is actually two tactician's piece and since we only have one tactician's piece we're gonna go over that one first um it has 1266 armor i mean electronics skill power on it uh burn resist damage release speed resistance just you know some resistances but i get the two piece bonus which is 15 percent more skill haste than i already have uh, the mods are on our firearms with three percent skill haste and a first aid self heal now over to the Hunter's Faith. We're going to go for the mask. The mask has skill power on it and 1533 firearms because of the mod 978 armor. And we're going to go over what um, Hunter's Faith does. 20% optimal range. It's okay, you know. But it gives you a 3% headshot damage. And hitting an enemy with a bullet grants you and your group, if you're in a group, temporary protection. The further the shot, the more protection. This is why people told me to use an MG5 or a sniper or something like that and just shoot from a distance. Mainly like an SMGs, uh, not SMGs, uh, like rifles and stuff like that. You want to shoot from a distance. But it still gives you protection no matter what. Um, if you hit an enemy. No matter what the distance is. So it gives you some type of protection. But each group member's protection disappears after getting hit by one hostile bullet. So basically, if you're in a 1v1 situation, you're getting some protection. But if they're hitting you, you're also losing it. So it's kind of like a semi-trade-off, but it still pretty work, works pretty well. Like I said, it's also this is a really a good group build thing. If you want to be like the guy that comes in and flanks from the side and shoots him from the side or behind them, or etc. If you're or two guys, or you guys have to focus one dude because he's the healer or he's the fire turret guy, you can sit there and shoot him. And uh, if you're shooting him, you're giving the team protection, depending on how far you are. We'll get to the reason why I'm using an SMG later, but yeah. Uh, my gloves are SMG, though, which is why I'm also kind of using an SMG, because that has 9% skill haze, SMG ammo is increased chance, and throw for firearms. Uh, I do not, I believe, have any Hunter's Faith uh, rifle one, so I need to get a rifle one. And also, I would be probably using a rifle as well, but also, I do, I'm just trying to get a better lightweight right now. But SMGs are really good, and I actually prefer the Navy MP5 because our SMGs in general, because I feel like they're more easier to control when aiming, especially in close combat quarters. Um, obviously, people are going to be like, oh, well, you just second aiming. Well, yeah, I know a second aim, it's a console. I'm not going to be good at console aiming. I'm sorry, I'm just not the best. Like, I'm not like just Sammy and I know them. But uh, it's, I. I prefer just SMGs overall sometimes because of just the aim, the close ability, the more mag size, the speed of the weapon as well. Um, and then lastly, we have the Hunter's Face Holster, 1260, 26, 1270, 1270. Unfortunately, the, the electronics on there was really, really low. It was like 11 something, and I didn't want that low of electronics, and I have reload speed on it. So reload speed kind of helps out, but I wish the rolls were above 12, uh, 20 each one. Like 1220, 1270, 1220. I wouldn't care about that. And then I put more skill haste on this. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to. I'm going to have to get another 100 phase holster. But so far, this one's not too bad. I mean, you'll see my skill haste later. I'm not really missing out too much. Speaking of which, let's get to the skill, uh, skill haste. So here's my stuff. You can see this is my firearms, my stamina, and my electronics. My weapon damage is there. My created chance is there. Created damage is there. Headshot damage is there. Stability 2%, range 19 uh, meters, reload time 2.2 seconds, reload speed bonus is 24%. <sighs> we go down the list, 975 bonus SMG damage. Damage release is there, 15%. We got a 41% that uh, skill power. And here's my skill is 48%. I'm pretty sure the max is 50. I'm only 2% off, guys. So it's really, yeah, that 2% can 
can mean you know a good amount of stuff, but honestly, that's not too bad. Uh, to point out the skill haste real quick, let me just go through the rest. You guys can see my toughness, my health, my armor is right there. Health regen, etc., etc. There's a bleed resistance, burn resistance. But let me go over this real quick. If I had a rapid chest piece, which I don't really think they fixed it yet. I'm going to be honest. I don't think they fixed it. I used to have a really good rapid chest piece. It was like really god roll. I might have removed it though. Let me just... Let me get a quick little glimpse. I might have removed it just because they haven't fixed rapid, I don't believe. I don't really see a difference. Oh, well, here it is anyway. It has already skill haste on it. Look at that. But it's uh, stamina, as you can see, and has any more damage. I would want health and electronics, but... um, Yeah. So... But still, I don't think, like, you can run rec uh, Rapid on this, and what Rapid does, let me just quickly re-over it again, for those who don't know what Rapid, decreases cooldown for healing skills by 15%. So, I mean, I don't know if that actually really works. It, Me and my, uh, my friend tested that, and it really didn't work. It wasn't, like, beneficial, honestly. It really wasn't that beneficial. But, um, if it works, it works, man. Hey, use it, right? Um... I just, I can't use that one, because I prefer to have health and then skill haste on it, and I have electronics roll, but, I mean, that's, it's really just situation whatever you guys want to run. Um, moving on to my skills, I'm using, uh, you can use any of these, I'm using overdose just because a fuller heal, I mean, yes, I do, I am running uh, vigorous, so I can run that, but just because of the, the fuller heal. I'm using this, and then I'm running an immunizer, because I just always like the extra heal, just because of the light going on, just the burst damage I can get from having low uh, stamina and such, and then obviously recovery link. Um, and yeah, that's really about it, guys. I mean, I can show you my damage numbers here real quick. So this is to the body, and then you can see it's like 35, 36, my fault, 36, and then up to the head, you got 32, 55. Really need be. I mean, I can show the Lavoa. It doesn't really matter. There's that. Up to 41, and then up to the head would be 66. So yeah, obviously the Lavoa hits obviously harder, but um, I could pop competent real quick. It's 20 to 40, and then up to the head. Looks like it's about the same amount, honestly, as a Lavoa. If I pop anything, which I have two things that I can pop to give me my uh, stuff. Anyway, so I really am liking this build. I hope you guys like the build, too. I forgot to go over the talents. I'm an idiot. Uh, critical save, I'm running Strike Back, Precision, and On the Move, just because um, those have always been my preferred talents. On the Move is killing hostile moving. So if you kill a player while you're moving, you get some damage reduction. If you hit him in the head, you pulse them, which is also more pulse. The actual gives you pulse damage as well. Uh, critical save, when you're low health, you can... Pop a med kit for damage resistance as well. So if you kill somebody while moving and pop a med kit and, you need, and you're at low health, you get like, what, what is that, 30%? Oh no, it's like 35%. And then strike back when you're low health, you get cooldown by 20%. Uh, you can also run combat medic instead of on the move or any of those talents, honestly. Uh, like precision, if you really don't want to run precision and you're in a group setting, use a med kit in your allies to heal group members and proxies within 20 meters by 40%. It's pretty good. It's actually a really good perk for a group setting. Uh, anyway, guys, this is Pin Snake, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.
Bound only by frozen
find my way back to you Till you make amends with the demons you've been through And I can't regret leaving you alone Until you find your way back home Find your way back home